While the auto show is getting all the attention here, 150,000 gadget geeks, if you will, are descending on the Las Vegas Convention Center for the Consumer Electronics Show. ABC's Becky Worley shows us some of the cool stuff we'll soon be able to get our hands on. One of the fun ones to emerge early on is this. It's an accessory for your iPad. It's called the Ion Audio Guitar Apprentice. You fire up the app after you place the iPad in here, and then it turns your iPad into a guitar teaching tool. The fretboard lights up to show you where you should put your fingers, hit the strings, and become your own Elvis. I'll hand this off to my roadie now. It's not all fun in games. We're looking at a lot of iterations in laptops. Ultrabooks are debuting here left, right, and central. 50 of them expected to come out. These are thin and light, extra long battery lives. Uh, this one is from HP. It's their Envy. It particularly has a lot of focus on audio and video elements. They range from $900 to $1,400. Finally, keeping with that audio theme, some beautiful headphones coming out. These from Parrot, and they're designed by the French designer Philippe Stock. They are so impressive, but also they have the touchscreen controls. How cool is that? Up to raise the volume, flick forward to move the song forward on your iPod or iPhone. Reporting from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas for ABC News, Becky Worley, back to you. All right, Becky, thank you. And there are so many cool things being featured at this year's show. Check this one out. This is a 55 inch super OLED TV. Now, this is ultra thin, just four millimeters wide. And it weighs just 16 and a half pounds. It's from Samsung and LG Electronics. I talked to Consumer Reports Electronics editor Paul Reynolds about it today from Vegas. This is a new technology that combines sort of the best of LCD and plasma, really tremendous color rendition and very exciting to our TV folks. They will be expensive, probably at least $6,000 this year, but maybe in the years to come, this will become the norm in uh, high definition. Wouldn't that be cool? And then there's this cool smartphone, the Samsung Galaxy Note. It's got a 5.3-inch screen. It will be out this spring from AT&T. Lots of cool stuff That's in Vegas. Cool. I like